Today I'm here with another weird 20-ish dollar Amazon purchase, the Asia Horse graphics card cooler. And you know what? We're gonna have a look at it today in another super cool unboxing. Welcome to Mike Text It Out. I'm Mike and this is the channel where I talk about things that I have around the house. And you know what I have around the house? The NZXT Kraken G12 cooler on my 2080 Ti. It's been a mostly good experience, but there was one issue and that is the 2080 Ti has VRAM on both sides of the card and the Kraken fan only covers one side of the card. And if I don't have an additional fan, then the card will overheat or the RAM specifically will overheat and then it will just shut the computer down. So since I've had the Kraken G12 installed, I've had a loose fan just sitting at the bottom of the case, but I saw this and I was like, this might actually solve the problem. That's why I have this today. And I understand it's supposed to be like a general graphics card cooler. This one was one of the cheaper options. It was $23. The reviews are not great. The reviews got like three and a half stars. And it seemed like most of it was around mounting because yeah, it doesn't look great. It's, it has like one side where you just mount it to the screws that hold in the additional brackets for the PCI slots. I will be going over the unboxing, the installation, and kind of giving you my first impressions after that. Let's get this open. Here we are. Oh yeah, this is a lot smaller than I expected it. Ooh, actually no, this is heavier. Though. Here we have the three fans of questionable quality, but you know what? This will do the job that I need to do. And that's all I really care about. This has a little horse symbol. I guess this is an actual brand. Cause a lot of the times with these things, it'll just be some random like Amazon pop-up thing that sells the same thing under a different name, but they do kind of have a logo. They have a little horse logo. So this might be an actual brand. Here is the bracket. So this, I guess, goes on the side. This bracket is not the best option. I wish they would have had something that just plugs into the PCI slot to kind of make it more secure. And the bracket goes on this side. So there's screws missing on this side. This is where the bracket goes over the wires for some reason. So you have to route these this way and then put that on. So your fan header is coming out of here. And this looks like this is the RGB header that you can plug into your motherboard. So that's how that goes on. So that seems like it's pretty much it. The fans seem like what you would expect. They're not gonna be great. This whole thing was $23. The frame is actually pretty sturdy. Like this doesn't feel like it's gonna like bend or bow or anything. This should theoretically do the job and look a lot better than what I have now. So let's just go ahead and get this installed and see what it's like. So I'm back after a brief two hour nap to install this thing. We have our three pin connector right here for the RGB. So I do have an extra one that's open. Uh, we gotta try to get this under the graphics cards. The Kraken actually came with a splitter, which is really convenient. That's how I had both fans connected. So this fan's connected to the fan that's already in the bottom of here. And then this part is a problem area right here. So this is where there's no airflow and there's a bunch of RAM modules on this side of the card. So if you had any other card from the 20 series, like 2080 even, there's no free RAM on this side. It's just because this card had 11 gigs. So they put extra RAM on both sides. So that's where the problem area is. So essentially that's what I need this for, to just come in here and just blow air up on that gap. So this should overall help the airflow. So let's just go ahead and get this connected and see how it looks. This seems pretty straightforward. It just seems like it depends on how high up you want this. But considering we have these tubes coming off of here, I don't think we're gonna be able to get it any higher than this, which is fine because our last fan was actually lower than this. So this should be enough to get the air up to the area that I wanted it. The way this is made is just, you're supposed to take out your screws for your brackets. So these I thought were hand tight, but they're not. This is one of the big complaints that I saw where people were saying that it's just not sturdy. Like it's just not enough. They're, they should have included something on the other side, like a PCI bracket, like dummy slot so you could stick it in a slot. In my case, it wouldn't have worked either way because this pump comes down so far, it blocks the other slot anyway. To me, or for me, this is probably gonna be a little bit more workable than someone perhaps with a bigger motherboard. I think another complaint that I read from the bad reviews were just that the fact that all the wires 
are on the same side where you have to jam it into the slots so that also makes it difficult to maneuver and yeah i can kind of see that as well because now i'm just trying to like struggle to get this in here before i can even plug the card in because they put it on this same side versus if they would put it over here then you know the cable will be coming off of here and you'd have a little bit more room to maneuver but being that it's coming technically more towards the front of the body it makes it harder to kind of plug stuff in before you mount it. So another thing that's gonna kind of suck for some cases, like my PCIe little holder brackets are literally just pretty much held in by the screw. Any like breeze, when the screw is out, they'll just fall all over the place. So trying to get this in here with the bracket, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. So here we are, I decided to stop fighting with gravity and just put this on his back. So I didn't get the part where I actually got this stuff in finally, cause it was just, it was too much of a pain. But yeah, it's, it sags a little bit. There's no support on this side. So it's, it's not a perfect thing. Probably actually mitigate some of this just by trying to get this screw in a little bit more. So yeah, just tightening that even a little bit more already reduce some of the sag here. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I mean, I already got this whole janky setup to begin with, but this already looks better than what I had before. And plus my biggest issue with the other thing is if my computer got knocked, if I needed to move it and forgot I had a loose fan in there, it was just gonna go flying. At least this will mostly stay in place and I don't have to worry about it moving and then possibly causing issues with the graphics cards. I'm excited to see how this looks. Let's go ahead and get everything hooked back up and just make sure it works. Now it's time to wrap this thing up and give you my final thoughts on the Asia Horse graphics card cooler. I gotta get used to the name. Honestly, it's not bad for $23. So one weird thing that I noticed about it was when I first connected it and plugged in the computer, it was just on. Like the computer wasn't on, none of my other RGB stuff was on. Even my front fans, which are connected directly to the motherboard, just like this is, we're not on. This was just on for some reason. After I got in there, I didn't have any issues configuring it with my motherboard software. So I have an ASRock motherboard, so I just have their software for controlling RGB peripherals, and I was able to go in and do like static and pulse and all that stuff. It worked fine, the colors weren't 100% accurate, but you know, they were good enough for the price point of this thing. I do also like the way that it looks, especially with my case with the tinted glass. The RGB just looked really nice. Some people in the reviews were saying that the RGB wasn't that bright. I usually base it off of if I can see it through my tinted glass, and I can, so to me, it's bright enough. I don't know what brightness people are looking for. Overall construction, the fans feel cheap. They're not really that noisy. I mean, I'm not one of those people that build a quiet system anyway. Like my front fans aren't that quiet. <laughs> so I don't hear it over any of my other fans. That is even under load. If everything else in your system is quiet, then maybe you might notice the fan. I didn't hear any of the issues that small fans typically have, like cheaper ones where you hear like the rattle or the whine or anything like that. I didn't hear that with these fans, but your mileage may vary. I feel like this is one of those products, since this is cheaply made, that you might just get a bad unit, which it seems like is what happened in a lot of these comments. As far as the sag and sturdiness, in the last part of the video, I tightened that screw because you have to put on the bracket before you mount it, of course. So when I was putting on the bracket, the screws that come in there, they're kind of like the standard fan screws that thick this. And I feel like the holes are a little bit too small. So I was trying not to strip them. So I probably didn't put them in there as tight as I could, but I just kind of had to suck it up and push them in there to make sure that it was in. And once I did that, it wasn't really sagging anymore. That's one thing I have to say, like as an issue, I don't feel like the screw holes were the appropriate size. It didn't feel like they were going in smoothly at all. So once I got past potentially damaging it with the screws, I was able to get a pretty tight mount. As far as the mounting bracket itself, I feel like it's really going to vary. The one thing that I didn't use in this video were the screws that it came with to mount it. A lot of cases just have those smaller Phillips head screws for the little PCIe placeholder brackets that come with the case and that's what that came with. My case screws are a lot bigger like for the PCIe bracket so I just used those. I actually forgot that my case had those bigger screws because my plan was just to use those with some washers to help hold it in place. But since I had those big screws, it really holds in place with no issues. With each case being different, I could see a lot of people having issues with this not being as sturdy. So 
I would probably try some washers or maybe some longer screws if that is an issue. Not to excuse it because it's not really an excuse. Like I said earlier in the video, they probably should have added like a PCIe, like even if it's an X16 dummy slot. Now it does do the job that I needed it for, which was just cooling the VRAM on my card. Now I know realistically that they sell this thing as like a GPU cooler. And I'm gonna say that in most cases, like for most GPUs, if you have an open air cooler, it's not gonna matter. You'd be better off either getting a better case or spending money on better fans if you're having GPU cooling issues. I needed it for a very specific use case and it works for that use case, which I'm happy about. And it looks a lot more elegant than just having like a fan sitting at the bottom of my case. But from what I've read in other videos that I've watched, it might be like a degree or two cooler, like on a regular air-cooled card. I don't think it will hurt anything, like if you like it for aesthetic reasons or if you want it for aesthetic reasons. I think it actually looks pretty cool. Like the RGB is pretty well done. But if you're concerned about noise or something like that, you're just gonna be introducing more fan noise for not that much gain. Whereas like you could probably just save up money and get some better fans for your system or more fans for your system or rebalance your airflow and probably get a bigger gain from that than from getting something like this. So that's my opinion on the Asia Horse graphics card cooler. My experience with it was pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'm bringing this video to a conclusion. But if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to tell a friend, tell a coworker, like, share, and subscribe, and always do at least two things at the same time. Peace.